Hey everyone, welcome to the Technoron Tech Channel, and in this video I'll be asking you a pretty important question. Is the iPod Touch 5th generation still worth your time in 2014? Thanks for watching. Before we get into whether it's actually worth your time in 2014, um, I'm probably going to give you a few uh, specs so you can put this uh, device into perspective. So, first, uh, the dimensions of the iPod Touch 5th generation itself is 4.86 by 2.31 by 0.24 inches so it's a pretty thin device as you can see and by the way this is what the suspected iPhone 6 uh, thinness is going to be like so that's pretty cool um, I guess you could call this almost a prototype of what it might be but I guess we, we won't find out until the iPhone 6 actually released but next uh, the weight of the iPod Touch fifth generation itself is 3.1 ounces or 88 grams um, it has a 10 well, or 1,030 milliamp hour battery, um, and the display is an LC LCD display, and it's actually got a 4 inch display uh, with kind of chunky bezels on the top and the bottom, very thin bezels on the side, uh, but the screen itself is 4 inches. And the resolution of the screen is 640 by 1,136 pixels per inch. Uh, oh, sorry, pixels with a pixel density of 326 pixel, pixels per inch. So that's a lot of pixels for, uh, you know, a, uh, a device like this. Pretty impressive. So the camera on the back, it is a 5 mix megapixel camera with an LED flash. And actually, the iPod Touch 5th generation is the first device, or first iPod to have flash capabilities. Um, and some features of the camera is the touch to autofocus. So, for example, if you open up the camera, let me just get something to photo. Um, you can touch to focus on the exact uh, object itself, kind of like on Android phones. Um, it features autofocus, um, face detection, uh, things like that. And the camcorder itself records 1080p HD video at 30 frames per second. And it also has a few more features which aren't as prominent as the uh, ones I just mentioned. But the front-facing camera, so the one right up here, is a 1.2 megapixel camera that actually isn't that bad. So if for any uh, video calling or anything like that, it's perfectly fine. So the internals of the actual device, um, it has an A5 system chip. So it's a pretty fast chip and it can handle quite a bit of multitasking. Um, the processor is a dual core 1000 megahertz ARM Cortex A9 processor with 512 megabytes of memory. Um, and this is the 30, 32 gigabyte version, but there is a 64 gigabyte uh, flash memory and a 16 gigabyte flash memory as well. So now to the big question Is the iPod Touch 5th generation actually worth your time in 2014? So it is one of the most well-known Apple products out there, really breaking the boundaries between MP3 player and, you know, something futuristic, something beyond um, what people were used to. Um, so the short answer is no, it's not worth your time. Sorry, um, Apple uh, iPod Touch users, and I myself am one, so I'm not being a hypocrite. Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> but... The long answer is that, you know, if you think about it, MP3 players destroyed the CD player and the CD. And then the smartphones just destroyed the uh, need for an iPod Touch or an MP3 player in general. I, th I would call it um, electronics natural selection. This is just the way, it, this is just how it works. Uh, something will come along much better than the iPhone, the Android, things like that. And so that's just how it is. Um, so, when you buy two different devices, like an iPod uh, Touch and an iPhone, uh, what's the point, really? I mean, like, you only really need one device now. Previously, you would have a flip phone uh, and then maybe an iPod Touch on the side to hold your music, but what's the point when you have a smartphone that can handle both capabilities? But I am a fan of the iPod Touch itself. And I would recommend it, but, you know, in the time of smartphones, there really is no point for it. 
So thank you for watching my video on whether the iPod Touch 5th generation or any iPod that matter is worth your time in 2014. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.